dark skin props, you know what I mean? DJ Jiggins is where I was talking to Ariana Springs right before Fall Camp 2017. Ariana, you've been to like, this is your 34th Fall Camp. Tell me what's different about this one and how it's easy just to prepare or not you kind of that. Um, you know, freshman year used to be like, you know, feeling crazy and psyching yourself up like, man, I got first tomorrow's a big day. Fall Camp every day is a big, that's a big marathon, you know what I mean? Um, so I used to think of it as a sprint, like I do good this day, it's gonna be my biggest day, but you just gotta a little bit get better a little bit every day. So I'm thinking about that, you know, as that instead of just trying to go out there and dominate the first day, you're not you're gonna make mistakes. So you just gotta learn how to build off of that and stuff like that. You know, something I just asked Brendan about, and I'm gonna ask you right off the bat so I don't forget that um, you know, duck recruiting is going super well. Are you guys on the team being aware of all the youngsters that are gonna be coming in or do you ever follow that kind of thing? Uh, I still follow all the like the media outlet stuff since I was in high school, so I, I still see it, but I'm not you know as involved because it really won't affect me that much. But you know, I, I'm but I'm aware of what's going on. I mean, they're not gonna come in and beat you out or anything. <laughs> no, but uh, I'm aware of what's going on. I just was wondering about that because I mean, the, the future is bright. Right? Mm -hmm. I just wondering if you guys are all in on that, that little secret. Okay. Um, Defensive backfield, you know, key in the Pac-12 because you can't stop the Cassie game and lose all your games. How good is this defensive backfield going to be this year? You know, um, we have a lot of potential. You know, last year I said we were going to be really good and turn around and what the. So um, I don't even want to just give out of the because then if it don't happen. Which it shouldn't, but I mean, it don't happen. It should happen, but um, we should be pretty good, I would think. You know, everybody's a little older. And we got a little bit more pressure from the coaches to know the assignments and stuff so we can just expand what we can do with the defense and you know help ourselves out in better positions to succeed. But you know, we're just in a show and prove. The whole team basically is in a show and prove year, like the mindset and stuff. So yeah, we just gotta grind it out. You know, we have to do we have to do better. We have no choice. Yeah, no, for sure. Um, any of the Okay, as a veteran, did you see anyone that you think is vastly improved that are, that fans are going to say, hey, that, that, that guy's got a lot better this offseason? Any, anyone you notice that you know about? Myself. Uh, okay, your <laughs> number one. Yeah, him. Literally. He's, yeah, him. Um, <laughs> I say everybody. I feel like that's the crazy thing. I feel like everybody that you thought, you know, everybody got better. So it's like it's gonna see a little bit better from that guy, and like from everybody. But um, for vastly, uh, myself, um, I don't know. A bit, I mean, everybody got better. It's like crazy better. I mean, it, I I'm shocked. Every, you know, I seen Thomas. I seen Ugo do stuff I ain't never seen him do. I've seen Thomas do stuff, man, from the first day to the last day. I've never seen, I've seen Royce do stuff. Seen, everybody just took the game to the next level. Interesting. Well, and then one thing that kind of signifies whether or not you've taken the game to the next level is the, your jersey number. <laughs> if you cast that out, single digits right yeah. now. Uh, what was the process of earning that thing? And how did, how did they let you know, hey, number one, you're number one again? Um, I, he said on the field, you know, you're doing a field. So I left spring. Was like, you know, that's the I see it. You know, I'll shoot it up. Yep. But then you know, he was like, the grades on. I was like, oh, sh you know. And me in school, we like this. We could be like this, but we're not. We like this. You know, we still like we like neighbors that don't really talk to each other. <laughs> you know, we know each other. But um, so I had to do I had to do good in school, which was you know. And then that kind of tied it in. So I didn't even know until I came here today and I oh, saw really? my job. I said, wow. Well, the media thing that Rob tweeted out. Yeah, we kind of knew. So yeah, that, that was that. And then, then today. And because we kind of asked ourselves, what was the criteria for, mm -hmm. for doing it this? But for you, it was the field play was already good enough for the one. Yeah. But the coach wanted you to prove it in the class. Is that right? Yes. Okay. Yes. Fair enough. Um, are you happy about it? Yeah. You know, it, it would have sucked to be the, you know, the number senior, one or three. Yeah, the senior in a different, uh, you've been wearing it all. Then I was like, yeah, mom, um, actually, you got to get some new jerseys. You know, those ones are void. That guy doesn't exist anymore. Put them on eBay. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, that's cool. It's fun. I can go out, we're number one. I've got to have two different hi highlights and stuff. But, yeah, it's cool. You've been around the block so many times. I've probably asked you this a dozen times. I'm going to ask it anyway again because I'm, I'm really fooling myself that way. Tell me one thing about yourself that duck fans don't know. Mm. Well, I didn't give y'all Grey's Anatomy. I didn't give y'all. We talked a little bit about video games and how you're okay at them, but not really good. Um, I'm probably the freshest guy you know. If we had to go out and get dressed up, that's, I mean, that's probably could be a given as well. But we always see me in jerseys and stuff. But I get pretty spiffy myself. So, yeah, I'm just super, 
I'm a, I'm a, I'm a fashion icon in the state of Oregon. Would the guys think so too? Of course, you can ask me. I'm, I'm, I'm a fashion icon. Ariane. Well, I'm asking for now. Yes. I'll circle back to you on this. Please, because you know it's going to be ten for ten or however who you ask, 100. percent Okay. Very good. We'll find out real quick. All right. Ariane, thank you for taking the time to talk to Thank you.